When Robbie Angle and Kyle Jones are after sturgeon, they need certain things like bait. Sturgeon bait is just, yeah, whatever you feel like throwing out there. Something kind of stinky, something fresh. That's about it. It's pretty simple. A rod and reel to handle a couple of hundred pound fish. That went a long way. That didn't go wrong. <laughs> and the kind of patience spawned by a single minded obsession. I don't know, there's something you can't explain it. Just an awesome fish. As soon as I caught my first one, I say goodbye to all the other fish and I'm going to do this the rest of my life. With everything in place, they settle in and wait. I don't know, I'm extremely focused. So you might get one good bite all day, but you know, you just kind of kick back and shoot the breeze with your buddy or kind of sit around or like he's doing. If you got a two pole permit, you can have two rods out. And oh, yeah. to waste time, you can bass fish. But driven by memories of fish six feet long, the two friends move to another spot. Upriver a little ways, we have a really super deep hole, and then we have a really super deep hole down there. And I think this is almost like a travel lane. Sturgeon once traveled the Snake River from Shoshone Falls to the ocean, growing more than 10 feet long and 100 years old. Now that dams block their movement, fewer and smaller sturgeon roam isolated stretches of the river. but they are still impressive. At three and a half feet, it's a small one. Yet the fish stirs memories of every sturgeon Robbie's caught and released. That feeling when you go over a roller coaster, right when you start going down, and I still get it with each one I catch now. Just like my first one. Yeah. Michael Keckler, Idaho Fish and Game. <laughs> That's a sturgeon. 